<laughs> Name and affiliation. Um, Ms. Mind Food dot com. Um, uh, congratulations on the movie. Thank you. Um, did you have to go under a lot of training for this? Yeah, there was uh, quite a lot. Not as much as Taron. I mean, Taron really had to go through it all, you know. But I, um, yeah, I. D I have this sort of big axe fight in the movie that actually ended up being really quite truncated, but <laughs> we did like a full night shoot shooting it and it ends up being like smaller in the movie. Um, and we did a lot of preparation for that, a lot of training with, with the axe and with this incredible, incredible stunt team they had. And, oh my God, little, just, a little, little hair, right up here. just a little hair out of place. But they don't want to talk That's to you. They don't want to talk That's to you. Because you look so, because the thing is, because you look so perfect, it's just that one hair. That's so nice. He wants you to look your best. That's 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 most of our time up. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> don't know who that was. No, he's just a nobody. He is nobody. He shouldn't be on the poster. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, he's the one who really had to do all the training. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the movie is, of course, a love story, mm -hmm. and I just wondered how much of a romantic are you? I'm fairly romantic, I think. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't do any huge grand gestures, I don't think, beyond, you know, uh, you know, I mean, we've got two kids, another one on the way, and, yeah, you know. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. I mean, that's romantic in itself, I, I guess. Yeah, it's like just pretty romantic. Be, being a family, you know. Um, but yeah, I've never, uh, I'm not like a, I don't, yeah, I'm not like huge, big, you know, open gestures, I don't think, too much. Speaking of romance, mm -hmm. I just wondered how you look back on your Fifty Shades experience. Mm -hmm. Fondly, you know, mm -hmm. I, I think uh, uh, Dakota would say the same, you know, it's it's been so, you know, we'll never go through anything like that again, I don't think. Um, movies of that scale with that much focus and attention on them and you know scrutiny and opinion and um, that's a, it's a very unique situation that, that, that probably only happens once in your career but it's been so good to us and it, it with without those movies wouldn't be able to do any of the independent stuff I've done in the last you know three or four years and um, it, I'm, I'm nothing but grateful for it you know um, but also I think Again, I speak for DJ on this, that it's nice to have it behind you and, you know, you move on and you you focus on, on other work and that's exciting too. What do you like doing when you're not working or looking after children, I guess? Well, there's very little time if, you, <laughs> if you're not working and you've got two kids under five and another one on the way. It's a very, it's just all about that, you know. Um, I'm the happiest when I'm doing the school run and... You know, I, I'd love that. But if, if I had a day to myself, I'm a golfer. I go and play golf. I spend my life defending golf. <laughs> but uh, that's what I'd like to do if, if my kids aren't around. You, when you do the school run, I yeah. mean, I'm just thinking of the fall where yeah. you were unbelievably scary <laughs> yeah. and Fifty Shades. Yeah. Um, what are the other mums <laughs> like? I, I don't turn up with my <laughs> turn up in the, with the, in, the, in, the, in the dark, you know, winter mornings with my head up. <laughs> that would be really creepy. Um, no, I mean, I know them all now there, you know, pretty much, so um, it's cool. I don't think, I think they just see me as, you know, the scruffy, <laughs> you know, stressed looking uh, parent like all the other <laughs> parents who are just trying to find somewhere to park and get their kid in safely. Um, I don't think there's anything beyond that, really. And what do you have coming up next? Um, I'm currently uh, shooting a movie, um, a Drake Dreamus movie with Shailene Woodley and Sebastian Stan. Uh, in LA, uh, called No 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 Yes, that will probably come out sometime next year. And then I'm, I'm I, then in two weeks I start filming a movie so called Synchronic um, with Anthony Mackie. So, and then I'm going to take some time off because it's the last few months has been insane. And with Christmas coming up, what do you normally do? Usually have it at our house. We have it in the, in in the, in the Cotswolds. My whole family come over from Ireland, and and we eat too much and drink too much and be merry and sing carols and yeah it's, but I love it I can't wait for Christmas great thank you cool. thanks Melinda good to see you oh, yeah okay